Gamers, we need to have a good heart-to-heart. -heart. On this show, we do our best to call out the gaming industry for their exploitive business practices. Part of the aim of this show is to help you become better consumers. So, you can avoid being a victim of, and become a weapon against the unchecked greed of the corporate triple studios. That is just one goal we had in mind when we created this show. Our lesson is simple. Your best weapon against the practices destroying the gaming industry is your wallet. Reward consumer-friendly game studios by buying their games. Punish those studios that are anti-consumer by not buying their games. Don't give in to the hype. Don't give in to peer pressure. If you don't like the practices of a certain company, do not reward them with your money. Money is the only language they understand. Mouthing off in forums and social media has done nothing to change them. So hitting them where it hurts the worst is the only recourse we have left. Which leads me to why we need to talk. We need to talk about Hello Games and No Man's Sky. Many of you are very angry, and you have every right to be. But, many of you are taking things to extremes. Look what happened to the No Man's Sky subreddit. Your hate and victory all became so bad. A moderator decided to delete the whole subreddit entirely. It is back, restored by Reddit admins, but that doesn't solve the problem. I acknowledge that Sean Murray wasn't entirely truthful. I acknowledge that the game didn't meet everyone's expectations. We consider No Man's Sky to be a beta, one sold, as a finished game. That should not have happened, the game should not have been launched in the state it was in. So, yes, you were right. To be angry. But, I believe your anger is focused in the wrong direction. In a previous post about this, I placed the blame for most of this whole affair at Sony's feet. The whole Fallout 4 and Skyrim remastered mods debacle, yet again brings this into light. I am not absolving Hello Games and Sean Murray of any blame here. They're equally as guilty, but you must understand Sony's involvement in this mess. It is clear that they pressured Hello Games into releasing No Man's Sky too early. It is clear that they and Hello Games did nothing to slow the growing snowball of hype surrounding the game. And you, in your self-righteous indignation fail to acknowledge your own role in this debacle. Most of the momentum for the No Man's Sky hype train came from you, the gaming community. You share the blame, yet you want to heap it all onto one person's shoulders. And. You have the balls to attack people who don't agree with you. This is not how you change the gaming industry for the better. I know not all of you watch this show. So, most of you haven't heard the lessons we try to teach. Raging witch hunts and echo chambers won't fix the gaming industry. I understand you're mad, but you need to focus that energy in a more positive way. What if, let me pose this question. What if, because of your behavior we'll never see No Man's Sky completed. Recent reports suggest the Hello Games offices have been vacated, and there has been no news from the company at all for many weeks. What if your hate made them give up on ever finishing the game? Let me ask you this. Would you rather that No Man's Sky be removed from the PlayStation Network and Steam, and everyone be refunded their money? Or, would you rather have Hello Games finished the game and gave us everything they promised the game was going to be? You can choose to wallow in your hate, and thus discourage other game studios from ever attempting to make games like this ever again. Or, you can demand that Hello Games finishes No Man's Sky, gives us everything they promised, and make Sony take responsibility for their role in this mess. You can also choose to use this as a learning experience. Learn how to not give in to the hype, and learn to use your anger in positive, constructive ways. There isn't anything wrong with being mad. It is how you use that energy that really matters. Sure, you can grab your torches and pitchforks and verbally lynch the targets of your rage. Or, you can focus the energy towards demanding real change in how the gaming industry treats you. It is entirely possible that it is too late to save No Man's Sky. Your hate made the developers give up. Or, maybe it isn't too late and Hello Games was just moving to a different location. I do agree that we need more communication from them. We need to know what they are doing, what they intend to do. 
This silence only further stokes fires that are already out of control. I can't think of a better example of why we need more transparency in the gaming industry. Look at the developers of Star Citizen. They release regular updates on their progress with the game. They're always releasing new videos on their YouTube channel. That unprecedented level of transparency is what Hello Games needs to emulate. Connect with the community. Stop trying to be so secretive. And, you, the gaming community, you need to meet them halfway. Not with anger, and pointing fingers. But with demands of transparency, accountability, and above all demand that they take your input seriously. There are those who will say that Hello Games has a right to make their game however they want, regardless what the gaming community wants. Those same people don't understand that if a game isn't what the gaming community wants, they won't buy it. So, they can yell about game studio rights all day if they want. While they have the right to creative freedom, like choosing a specific art style and gameplay style, they do not have the right to tell consumers a game is finished, and then sell them one that isn't. They do not have the right to make promises about features that they cannot keep without at least saying some features won't make it in the game at launch. So you apologists who yell about game studio rights, you know where you can shove it. Anyway. This was all meant to be a message to you, the gaming community. We hold no illusions that this video will do anything to sway your opinions. If what I had to say today makes just one of you rethink your position on all of this, then we've done our job. We know that one voice alone can't really change the world. But, that voice can become two. Then three, then. Four, five, a hundred, and a thousand. I hope you get the picture. My name is Chloe Nightshade. I hope this positive message has reached you. Until then, see you in the next episode.